All right, everyone, as you can see from behind us, I've arrived in Bonnie, Scotland for a couple of days and I've escaped in the coronavirus, trying to escape all the stuff on the news and all that, because I'm sick of hearing about it. So what a way to escape all that and come to a beautiful place. So yeah, I've just literally just arrived that second, about a five hour drive up and I've been blessed to deal with some really nice conditions. The light is absolutely fantastic. So I'm gonna get down to, down to the riverside there and try and get a, one of the classic shots. I've never actually gotten a photograph of this mountain come covered in snow yet, so this will be a first for me. But it's looking very, very atmospheric up there at the moment. Okay, so I'm set up now down at the waterfalls and it is a glorious day here. The sun is getting out, clouds have all broken up. I've come down into a low position. I'm actually in, in the river itself. Come down into a low prone position. I'm using a six stop filter. And that's giving me an exposure time of around around the eighth of a second. So I'm just experimenting with, experimenting with different ND filters at the moment. And I'm getting some really nice results. So it's a great start to the week, to the few days I've got here in Scotland. Beautiful. I mean, take a look. Take a look at these beautiful, the Book of Elf mountain. One of the most beautiful mountains in Scotland. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I'm just trying out a few different, different, different vantage points. What I've done is I've just came over onto this rock here. I've gone for this composition here. I'm really liking it. I've never went for this composition here before and it's working really good. So the settings I'm on at the moment, F11. I've got the polarizer on and an ND4 filter. Sorry, an ND6 filter. Give me exposure time of around about four seconds. Okay, so I've come down to Glen Ative and I'm looking for the the wild deer that's down here and I've just spotted some there they're just over there on the side of the mountain so I'm gonna go over there now and see if I can get some good shots so I think I'm gonna set them on the top of that hill there ideally you want to get the closer you want to get is the better the closer you get the higher the quality Too close, we're getting scared away. So I'm just using this rock here as cover.
Okay, so I've just got a good couple of shots in the bag there. They've just moved off. There's loads over there. So what I'm going to do is stealthily move to the next vantage point. Okay, so I'm heading to the top of that mountain. I'll put the name of it up now, because I can't pronounce it. So go to the top of that mountain. It's a very popular place to get a good view of this mountain here and all this beautiful scenery covered in snow. So I'm heading up now, cars parked up. I'm about to forget to me, because I always do. But it's a very, very calm afternoon. It's a great time to get up to the top of here. I'm just doing a recce trip at the minute because I'm going to plan on, plan on coming up here for the sunrise tomorrow. So I thought I'd come up and get a, get a feel for the place. See what it's like for the ascent up. It's dodgy this like. This is dodgy. Oh shit! Oh! What are you gonna do, eh? Sata. Whoever put that gear there, like. So anyway, I'm trying to scale this fence. I'm gonna be. I haven't even got a clue. We get over here, to be honest, but. Follow your nose, I think. Okay, so I'm getting, I'm about one quarter of the way up and it's getting really slippy. So I'm gonna have to go for the old cramp ones. I haven't used them yet, it's the first time I've ever used them, so I'm gonna go clear how you put them on. Anyhow. Back front, that's it. See the fit on me, Willy. Hope they do. Get in there. Yeah, here it is. The old cramp on, straight on. It's getting very slippy up here. I nearly went over twice. Straight on, job's a good one. Cramp ones are working a dream. Look at this, flying up. If you're gonna come up the mountains in the winter, I would definitely recommend a pair. Literally cost 20 quid, if that. I mean, look at them scenes. How atmospheric can you get? Beautiful. Beautiful! So I'm about a halfway there, I think.
Oh no! Oh no! I've only got on left the, the tripod clamp that goes in there. I've, I've left it on my long lens, so that is a very guttering thing. No, oh, I don't believe it. I want to get around that. Can I get around it? I know. I know. Whoa. Oh, so anyway, so yeah, so I did forget something. So this, this, uh, this is useless now. So luckily. I've got another tripod where you don't need the the DLSR mount. So I'm gonna have to switch to that one. Oh. What I'm going for, I'm going for a panorama image. And I wanna get all this scene in here. We've got some great light at the moment. So I'm gonna have to, this is gonna have to do. Gonna have to do the job somehow. It's not ideal, like, but So I've got a nice composition lined up here with a 16 to 35 millimeters with a wide lens and all that basically out of 16 millimeters. Settings wise I'm on f11 and I've got no filter on at the moment. ITO 100.
and that is looking absolutely beautiful. Just take a look, take a look at this view. Absolutely stunning. And it's worth the hike up. Truly is. But well, I tell you what it is, it's quite a quite a dangerous check up. I mean we, my legs were going down to here. I mean you can see where it's gone with the snow, how deep it's gone with the snow. Took a few tumbles on the way up. But it's worth it. It's all worth it. When you've got marvellous views like these to come up and just just breathe in that Scottish air. A fresh Scottish air in the Highlands while the whole country is getting nervous about this coronavirus that's hitting the shores and all over the world. It's just nice to come and escape to a place like this and just get away from it and forget about it. Getting a lovely bit of light across there, across there at the moment. Oh yes, oh the light's getting really good now. I've had a really good day today, thoroughly enjoyed it. Been a great day in Scotland, great day. I've got one more day tomorrow and I'm undecided on what I'm going to do. I was planning on coming back here for sunrise but I don't know. I don't know. I might try and think of another idea. So I think I'm going to sign off now for today. Hope you've enjoyed this this day, watching what I've been doing. And I've put up a few photographs now of what I've taken up on this mountain today. All right, so signing off for this day, day one in Glencore. The beautiful Glencore winter. Signing off to future photography. Out. Your wits about you up here. My cramp won't come off and I lost it half way up. Luckily, I just found it on the way back down. Alright, so it's the evening now and I've just arrived. Well, I haven't just arrived, I've been here quite a while now at Blackwater Campsite in Glencoe. And I've been here before and it's a really good campsite. It's, you know, it's it's not too expensive it's you know it's reasonably priced so i would highly recommend this campsite so i'll put it up on the screen now and where it is you get these pods these pods uh it was literally 30 40 sorry these 45 pound a night these and you have a you have a microwave in there you can't see it because it's a bit uh hold on a minute so you got a microwave there Kettle, fridge, and the other thing TV, um, and that's basically it, really. But in, this is like a, it's got like four beds in this. A bit much for me, like, but I'm doing the job. As there was no two two beds left, so I had to take this one. So yeah, it's been a decent day. Oh shit! So much for spilling, just spilling me drinking. Oh. I'll, so yeah, it was a decent day. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it. A day. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Having a great walk up that mountain and 
get a few shots. It's the first time I've ever scaled a mountain in the snow like that. But it's, I've, I would recommend it, but it's only do it if you, you know, you've got your wits about you and you've got the right equipment. You need them crampons and you need them sticks because it gets really slippy. So yeah, tomorrow I'm going to be heading to Kilcher and Castle Fall, the sunrise. So I'll be getting up early, 4.30am, start tomorrow. It's going to be an early one. But looking forward to it. I just love getting out there and just doing the landscape photography and wildlife, you know, it's just, it's the best hobby I've ever taken up, ever. And it just gives you something to do and get out there and, you know, and be creative and if anyone's thinking about doing it, and I would just highly recommend doing it because it just opens up so many doors for you, you know. Just, I love it, me, Love it. So anyway, so I'll be signing off soon when I have a cup of tea and then go to sleep. Ready for the 4.30 start tomorrow morning. Bright and early and hopefully it's a nice sunrise and that Kilchurn Castle is going to light up in the sunrise. We'll see. So I'll see you tomorrow. Over and out. Morning everybody and I'm down at Loch Or at Kilchurn Castle. I'm struggling to find how to get on there at the moment. But it doesn't look like we're gonna get a decent sunrise this morning. It's pretty overcast. So I've just decided to take a few shots of the of the Highland cows here, just at the, just at the side of the road. And some inquisitive sheep. Okay, so when you come into shoot Kilchurn Castle, I've just parked down there, what is right near the Loch or Inn. Okay, so luckily somehow I found this great spot. It's just near the, uh, the railway station. You just cross the bridge and it brings you down into this area here, which gives you a really good view of the castle. I mean, if you take a look, it's looking very, very picturesque. We've got lo lots of low-lying clouds just hanging over the top of the castle there, creating a lot of atmosphere and... It's turned out pretty decent. So all we need is just a bit of light, just to light up the castle. The sun is just starting to come through the clouds there. And I'm hoping it's going to illuminate the castle. But it's just looking very picturesque. Beautiful scenes down here. A lot of that low lying cloud just rolling in. Beautiful. I'm going to spend a bit of time here, I think. I think I know why it's called Lock Awe now. Because I'm standing here in awe at the beauty of this place. Okay, so I've now got the tent stuff filter on. I just want to emphasize those reflections. And with the tent stop, I'm on F14. 
F14 at 30 seconds. I'm just experimenting with experimenting with different focal lengths. So I've spent a couple of hours here now and I've got to get some good results. I think I'm, I'm quite hopeful. I've just done a, a panorama panning around from from the left side of the castle there coming around and getting all these mountains in here with the snow on so hopefully that turns out all right Starting to get some beautiful scenes over there now. The clouds are just breaking up and just some, some, some really nice light just hitting the top of the mountain there. So I've got the 10 stop filter on, I'm on 30 seconds exposure. I'm on F18. So sometimes it's just worth hanging about. If you've got the time to, to do it, hang about and wait, because that's the reward you get. So I'm set up down here now, I'm at my final destination. It's a lone tree of Loch Lomond. And it's uh, turned out to be a beautiful day. It was raining early on and it's getting out really nice. So it's really, it's quite bright. But we've got a, quite a bit of clouds as well. So it's a good mix, you know, there, there's a lot of interest in the sky. And I'm just framing the tree to the right of the frame. So if you take a look now, that's how I'm framing it up. And I'm using, I'm using my 10, 10 stop filter and also I'm using the six stop. So I've put them together to create 16 stops of light. And I'm doing about a four minute exposure. So I want to do a really long exposure. I want to flatten out this water, totally flatten it out. And get some maximum results for the reflections. But what a day, and what a couple of days I've had in Scotland. Been absolutely great. From yesterday, from climbing the mountain in the snow, today's been a bit more of a relaxed day. And thoroughly enjoyed it, thoroughly enjoyed it. So for settings wise, I'm just F11 to get a sharp front to back. ISO 100 as always, and like I said, I'm doing a four minute exposure. And see how that turns out. So I'll put up the result now, you can take a look.
it's the first time I've come in, I've seen the tree actually submerge in the water. So I think that's given it a really good effect. It's making the tree look a bit more secluded with that beautiful background, snow on top of the mountains. This weekend's been a good way to, to, um, to finish the winter. I think this will be my last winter, my last winter out, I think. Unless I can squeeze one more in, but I'll not get scenes like this again this year. Not with all this snow. It's just, this is just what I've needed. A couple of days away. Get away from the stresses of the city life and the working life and all that. Just come away to somewhere beautiful like this. Peace, tranquility. And creativity. It's not a bad combination, is it? Okay, so I'm probably gonna sign off now, I think, for the couple of days. I'll get one more shot here and I think that'll be me. I'll be back on the road, back down towards Durham. So if you've enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and that'll be appreciated. So until next time, wherever that may be, see you later.